Hey guys, how's it going? Shmoy, aka Baby Sham 33 here. So we are going to uh, today. We received some information with regards to season 19 updated rewards, uh, defensive tactics, and solo events. So I'm going to jump right into it. I'm going to skip past the uh, the greetings and soliloquies. Let's just get right into business. When it comes to defensive tactics, they've gone ahead and they have removed dodge and crush based on the fact that those were the least used uh, defensive tactics. Um, so just straight to the point, those are gone. Uh, when it comes to build work, uh, there has been an update. Uh, the description now reads, metal defenders are immune to armor break debuffs. Whenever the metal defender loses more than uh, 7, 5, or 3% of their max health from a single strike, they gain an instructable buff for 6, 8, or 10 seconds. This indestructible buff is removed when the attacker finishes a special attack and goes on cooldown for 10 seconds. When the instructable buff um, ends for any reason, this cooldown is reduced. Uh, this uh, buff ends for any uh, reason. This cooldown reduction of um, this is a cooldown reduction of five seconds. So definitely not player friendly. Uh, makes bull work uh, much more annoying, considering that you have less time to do damage if you are say using uh, Corvus or Ghost against Bulwark. Um, like I said, you're kind of bow battling within that uh, that 10 second time frame or you're using attackers that don't do um, that kind of damage. So, not, um, not fun whatsoever. Um, you know, it's one thing when you're dealing with the immune to armor breaks and you're fighting characters like you know, Iron Man Infinity War, but then you're doing, you know, if you do excessive amount of damage, you're having, you know, they're having that indestructible buff, and now the cooldown time has been reduced. So, yeah, that's first and foremost, not happy about that. Uh, stubborn uh, is a new defensive tactic. Whenever a defender... Whenever a defense, a hashtag defense, defenders, attack misses. So, um, when the attack misses, so if you dex an attack, you know, if you dex, if you evade, so if you're using like quake or something like that, or you just dex in general, if the attack misses, is evaded, or dodge, they gain a 1, 2, or 3 indestructible passive. So anytime you use dex, evade, or anything like that, again, someone that is hashtag defensive, you, they will gain an indestructible passive. Um, and it goes up to 3 charges. These are removed whenever the attacker blocks a hit or is struck. So... You basically want to play either just doing parries and attacking um, or, you know, doing things like shallow evading and, and intercepting. But when they have things like special attacks, you're going to have to take all of that block damage. Uh, this is just going to enforce the need to use more potions. This is a horrible new node. Um when folks would like to do things where, you know, it doesn't, you know, if you play perfectly, you don't take damage. You're, you know, being able to go through war without having to use potions. This is going to be a horrible node and definitely you're going to see a lot of alliances use this. Um, this is probably the least exciting change whatsoever to Alliance War season um, being punished for actually you know either using Quake properly or if you're um, you know or just Dex in an attack this uh, 
is uh is uh, it's a travesty honestly um but let's go beyond that um let's see protect is a second newly added defensive tactic whenever the attacker deals more than 300 percent of their base attack in a single hit to a size extra large to a size large or extra large uh, defender the defender gains a stack of protection reducing all damage taken by 10 20 and then 30 percent so basically another another counter to say corvus um ghost sunspot so for those that are placing those large or extra large defenders um i'm not sure how much this particular uh, defensive tactic will be used um not uh yeah yeah i'm not sure about that but the stacks of protection are capped at four and the defender loses two stacks when they are intercepted. So, um, I'm not sure exactly how much that will be used. Like I said, stubborn will definitely be used a lot. Um, will work occasionally, probably. And then, of course, you still have flow, which will definitely be used. But stubborn and uh, flow will probably be the most used ones. Um, attacker tactics. We've talked about this before. They're, uh, what they're introducing is if you're using the same attacker as what the defensive um, the defensive tactic is, you get some attribute bonuses. So let's just kind of get into it. If the defensive tactic is um, protect and your so um, the defender that you're using is a large or extra large champion they gain an unstoppable passive for three seconds when the defender is knocked down so if you knock them down you gain um, an unstoppable passive however like that's cool but it doesn't do anything to um, counter the uh, defender gains a protection uh, reduction of damage it doesn't it doesn't counter that it's a it's a bonus but it doesn't counter that whatsoever um yeah it's just it's just okay you're using a extra large or a large or extra large champion um you know if you knock them down you gain an unstop you know you gain an unstoppable passive whoop de doo Stubborn, if the attacker is hashtag defensive, will time blocks grant them 15% per, um, percent perfect block chance for 10 seconds, uh, stacking up to two. So, and then if we go back up to Stubborn, uh, when a defensive tactic misses an attack, is evaded or dodged to gain instructable passive, when instructable passive or remove whenever detect blocks um, blocks a hit or is struck and as we know um, that's one two or three indestructible passives so you know if you're using the hashtag defensive well time blocks grants them 15 percent perfect block so it's going to reduce the damage that you're having to take because of the new node. So if you're using a hashtag defensive character, you know, if you dodge, um, you know, your well-timed block um, blocks grant them 15% um, block chance for 10 seconds, stacking up to two. So basically you would want to start to fight off if you can get in say two well timed blocks and get your you know get get your perfect block chance uh grant them 15 percent perfect block chance 
so maybe 30% perfect block chance. And then if you use a dex, you know, and then you have to take that block damage, it's not as much block damage. Personally, I think this is a real crappy mechanic. It's a crappy node. And, uh, yeah, I'm not looking forward to it whatsoever. Bulwark. If the attacker is metal, the potency of their damage over time effects is increased by 35% for each damage over time effect already on the da already on defender. Now, as we already know, for bulwark, um, metal defenders are immune to armor break debuffs. So whenever a metal defender loses more than seven, five, or three percent of their max health from a single strike, they gain an indestructible buff. The attribute, if you're using a hashtag metal defender, the potency of their damage over time effects is increased by 35% for each over time effect already on the defender. So if you're fighting with uh, Iron Man Infinity War and you put the shock on the on the defender, you know, you have increased, you know, 35 um 35% for each of those, uh, for each, for the shocks on the defender. Or if you use a special two, 35% uh, increase for the um, incinerate debuffs. But at the same time, because of how um, Bulwark works, you have to hope that when you do that special two, um, they don't gain an indestructible, um, an indestructible buff. So once again, not excited whatsoever. Flow, if the attacker is hashtag control, the last hit of their heavy attack reduces the potency of the defender's power gain effect by 35%. For 15 seconds stacking up to three times so I would need and it's funny because it's the last hit of their heavy not each hit of their heavy so if you're using Corvus whose heavy attack is three hits um, it's just the last hit that counts so you have used up say three charges of his Corvus of his clave charges and um, for that, or you know what, uh, Ghost would work well here because at least from the heavy attacks, you're going to get, you know, hopefully you're going to get those, um, those Fury charges. Um, but it's given a 35% reduction of the flow. You know, it was still a 50% um, reduction. So basically, you have, you know, fighting against flow. They're basically kind of promoting using a heavy play style. And for the thing with flow is um, where the alliance is based there, flow defenders are where you have stun immune. So if you're going up against someone that's on stun immune, trying to actually weave in those heavy attacks to reduce um, the to reduce the power gain is going to be very difficult. Um, yeah, I, I think this is still very poorly designed. Flow is one of those, um, you know, just. One of those nodes that just basically makes Alliance War expensive. Um, so between Stubborn and Flow, I'm not, this is nothing, this is nothing exciting. There's nothing here that makes me excited about the competition level of, you know, fun and exciting competition when it comes to Alliance War. Um, let's go down to the rewards. The rewards 
uh, I have to say, did get a decent um, boost. Mostly if you are in, say, from Master rank 1 to Plat, plat 3. Um, yeah, Master rank 1 to Plat, plat 3. Uh, just to go quickly, um, when, you know, in comparison and, you know, so on Master 1 previously, uh, you were getting 20k 6-star shards, you're now getting 40k. 5-star um, shards have gone from 40 to 50k, you're going to get 2 of the 25% T5CC um, on Master Rank 2, you've gone from 16k to... Um, you know, 37.5k six star shards. The five star shards stay this, you know, also remain at 50k, uh, going up from 30 from 30,000. You get one of the 25% uh, T5C, um, 10 of the 2% T5CCs. So, you know, those are some huge changes, uh, definitely. Um, and you know likewise you know from master three you're getting 35k six star shards the, the major increase on these is basically your six star shards um on master you're getting 30k six star shards um you know six star shards and the increase of the t5 c's cc that you get is definitely notable when you're getting up to the platinum uh one area You've gone from getting 10k to getting 20k six star shards, from 18k to 30k five star shards. You're now going to get 10 of the 2% uh, T5 CCs, as opposed to before where you were getting four. Um, the T5 basics have increased from from uh, from one to 1.75. Uh, Same thing, uh, and just to kind of skip ahead. So at Platinum 3, you've gone from 6K to 10K 6-star shards, from 14K to 20K 5-star shards, from uh, 2 of the 2% T5CCs to uh, 4 of them, and then from um, 27K T5 basics to, um, to 1 and a quarter. Uh, for Gold 4, they... Changes is negligible. You've gone from 4K to 5K 6-star shards, from 12K to 15K 5-star shards. Uh, you're still getting only one of the 2% T5CCs. Your T5 basics have increased from 18K to one uh, full one. Um, and then when it comes to gold one, um, it's, you know, same thing, negligible changes. Uh, you've gone from... 2k 6 star shards to 2.5k 6 star shards um, you know your t5 basics do increase from 13.5k to 33.75 so 75% um, of a tier 5b and you've also gone up to um, to 3 tier 2 alphas instead of 2 so, like I said, definitely some, if you are in the topper, um, the top brackets, and like I said, from plat, from master rank one to plat three, um, the chain, you know, it, it's a, it's a decent change, honestly, from plat four to, to gold three, it's negligible, it's okay, it's neg, but, you know, it's negligible. Um, then you have titles and badges, so we're just going to skip past that because honestly, that's, uh, not that big of a deal. Um, I do like the fact that hidden nodes after hearing our summoners feedback and concerns, the hidden nodes are being temporarily, um, are being temporarily removed. The, you know, they'll be, re they'll return in future wars, but for right now, while they reevaluate the 
the way hidden nodes work, they're going to be removing that. That's definitely a positive. Timer changes. The fight timers have been changed uh, from the three minutes to five minutes per fight. Considering what they're doing with um, some of the updated nodes. And then when you have things like stubborn, um, that is definitely going to be, uh, that's definitely something that's a plus and that's, that's needed. I would love to see them also reduce the, the timer refreshes from an hour to half an hour or at least 45 minutes to at least get you through war faster. But it is what it is. But like I said, considering the changes with, with regards to um, stubborn and bulwark, um, you know, and even um, protect, um, you're definitely going to need a longer amount of time to get through these fights. Um, that is painfully obvious. Um, on top of that, they have new solo events. So just basically to have, you know, to kind of get people to participate in, in war. Because a lot of the community no longer wants to do war. They'll just go to alliances that do nothing but, you know, alliance quests. Or maybe they only have, you know, one or two battle groups that run war. Because, honestly, the system is just that broken um, between the rewards and the, the stress and the hassle of having to do war folks just don't want to do it it, it you know it it, it it that's just the plain truth of it so to kind of entice people to do war they're doing a point system now based on where you are whether you're a contender proven or in conqueror or on collected and cavalier, you know, when you when you basically do just things like place defenders or spend energy in alliance war, um, use boost potions and revives, um, which is so crappy that you're getting points for using boost potions and revives. Um, you know, you win an AW fight, um, so if you place defenders, you just get points. And at the end, you can use these points for a number of things, so whether it be gold, um, you know, hero crystals, let's see, gold, four stars, or loyalty, like so, let's see, 45,000 points will get you 1,000 five-star crystal shards, you know. Uh, 33,750 gets you 10k loyalty so um, however that works out I'm, you know I'm assuming the max amount of points that you can get in a season would be let's see place defenders and 600 points so that's yeah, so a 28 day solo events um, I'm not exactly sure based on this you know how many points you you know the max amount of points that you can get into in a season but you can purchase these other things so basically it's just it's not the greatest rewards it's just something just you know but it's rewards just because you're participating in the alliance war um honestly after reading you know then let's see the event will run the length of the season and will not uh not during the off season that's for the points the reign of the Grand Master is about to begin. Alliance War season starts on July 8th. The new defensive tactic systems will be available on uh, available to try on July 1st. I will be quite honest with you. There is nothing in here. The up updated rewards are cool. Um, but beyond that, and just um, some extra points for, for rewards. Like I said, they're nothing big, but they're just for the fact that you participate in the Alliance War. It is cool. But outside of that, there is nothing here that makes me thrilled about Alliance War. Um, I think the defensive tactics are still off base. Um, you know, the new ones that they've added, kind of like Stubborn, is just made. It doesn't, it doesn't reward 
players for playing well it requires you to spend potions um, same thing you know even if you know with the if you use a hashtag defender for the deep for the attacker um, tactic um, attribute you know the fact that I need to you know doing a perfect block gets you a fifth increased 15% chance for um, for a perfect block hmm <sighs> I, yeah, uh, you know, I, I in no way, shape, or form am excited about that. I think Stubborn is one of the um, less thought about um, additions to defensive tactics because I'm getting basically punished for using either like a Quake or or if you know are using dexterity or something like that I need to to take a block hit or get hit um, to remove an indestructible passive and because it's a passive and not a buff you know I can't remove it with you know um, I can't remove it with a nullify effect or a stagger or something like that so um, same thing with bulwark with regards to uh, the cooldown reduction. Yeah, um, war was never that exciting to me, and it is even less exciting um, as it stands. Uh, sorry, I couldn't be more excited about this. It is, you know, it is what it is. If you feel differently, definitely place it in the comment. Let me know. If there's something that you're looking forward to with regards to the coming war season, you know, um, if you think I might have missed something that makes this better than it is, you know, let me know. Um, but that's, at, you know, right now, this is my honest feeling with regards to um, this update and, and war. I think this is definitely two steps back um, from meaningful uh, game progression all right thank you as always for watching uh, please like subscribe and as always have a blessed day